Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Anil Pujar and today I want to explain the article about Teachers approaches in teaching literature Observation of ESL classroom Written by Siti Salina Mustaqim, Ramli Mustafa, and Osman Lebar The purpose of literature in English is enhancing students' language learning But that, are, but that is not only the purpose of literature Literature have also have a purpose to generate the aesthetic part of the English language. The English language specification state that the purpose of literature is not only to enhance the students generating the value of learning, but also learning English language in general. Literature in education also has a purpose. It is aimed to enhance the enhancing the potential of the students in integrating into in integrated manner intellectual, spiritual, emotional, and physical aspect in order to make students with high social standards. The CCL program is aimed to support the students in enhancing their English English skills with reading simple fiction. To provide literature components in school and make a, a supportive English language learning environment. The role of CCL primary school is defined by the Malaysian Ministry of the Education. Children's literature created material to support the children with their imagination. The CCL was implemented in 2006 with the purpose is to improve ELT through through the introduction of short story eh, of the of story book to reading simple fiction uh, to story books of children's literature the main aim of the program are uh, the first is to help pupils improve their english through reading simple fictions second to provide a, a continuum for the literature component introduced in the secondary school and third is create an enjoyable uh, enjoyable learning environment and the learning objective outlined by the CDC for literature commander are to uh, install and incul in, incul and inculcate inculcate the reading habit among pupils and rich pupils vocabulary and language content and hence the people's thinking skills promote culture understanding in the Malaysian Malaysian context and the last is uh, improve English language proficiency of pupils and six is provide lively enjoyable and high interest readings the program is taught for students in year a in year four year five and year six in a single period of week if students will read at least two books in a year and they are introduced to to two different gen genres short stories and poems literature is meant to be enjoyed as literature can be employed as a tool to promote literacy and proficiency in the language the cdc of malaysian ministry of education provides three benefits uh, the three benefits are the personal and emotional gains which offer enjoyment and rich to learn understanding of themselves and world around them. Develop imagination, helps children make sense of their own experience and evoke one's feeling on issues related to life. The learning gain allows children to learn new ideas and now a new knowledge adds to their understanding of concepts allows, allows children to understand cultural tradition and values of issues in life allow, allows children to, de de to develop respect for self and others and encourages them to become aware of their audience. Uh, the third is of benefit is the language gain, which helps children develop an awareness of how language works in communication, develop an understanding of meaning of words, allow them allows them to experience new way of using language that bridge the gap between written and spoken language, and allows them to experience experience the form of narratives. 
The role of teachers in teaching of CCL program is to encourage to develop worksheet for the students that students can be placed in their portfolio. Teachers are evaluating the students' work and also are needed to create an enjoyable learn learning environment based on what their students need. The, C the CDC recommends a teacher to read the poem and understand it truly. Uh, to make the students more interested, the teacher needs to read aloud and reread the reread by the students. For the students, uh, the CDC the CDC recommends them to discuss with their fellow classmates about the poem. The students need to write down the vocabulary that they don't familiar with. The curriculum development board has provide resources. For the CCL program implementation in order to ensure the program is employed effectively in classroom instruction. Materials provided for the teaching of CCL, CCL includes PowerPoint slides and a guide, which allow teachers to go through the plot, setting, character, lesson, learn, and the feeling evoked by the story. Teachers' approaches in the teaching literature in school. Uh, there are six approaches in the teaching of literature. There are language-based approach, paraparastic para para approach, information-based approach, personal response approach, moral psychological approach, and stylistic approach. Each of these approach is related to the teaching of social program in classroom instruction. Literature in education in the Malaysian school syllabus consists of the teaching of prose, uh, which involves novels and short stories, teaching of poetry, and also the teaching of drama. The syllabus is aimed to develop in students the ability to read, understand, and respond to the literal, literary text. The MOE has outlined objectives of literature in education are to develop in students an awareness of the value and pleasures of reading good literary, literary works, an appreciation and deeper understanding of important human concerns and human relationships. An ability to appreciate values which will enhance an understanding of themselves and their relationship with others. An initial ability to communicate their response to text, to text support, supported with the reasons and an acquaintance with an appreciation of the main forms of literary expression and of the liter literary devices used. Uh, in the CCC in the CC program, short story become one that has been introduced to the students. So the students are requ required to learn the good value in short story by comparing uh, different short story. Malaysian Minister of Education has specified the learning outcomes that the students need to achieve. They are uh, first is uh, understand the context of the text. The second is recognize and understand the issues are presented in the text. Next is understand the uh, the themes and message message in the, the text. The first is understand the plot in the text. Next is describe the characters and interpret the interaction and relationship with another. Uh, next is understand and interpret the contribution of setting to the story. The second is understand the author the author's point of view, and then identify common literary device device authors employed to achieve their effect, communicate and inform personal response to the text, and produce a, a piece of work in response to the to the next to, to the text studied. It is important to do in order to know if the implementation of CCL program has achieved the, object, the, objectives, the objectives. 
Cheng 2008 state that the study of literature is in language acquisition by developing the children's awareness on how language works in communication and experiencing the form of narratives. The, the MOE has given good support in the implementation of children's literature into as a component in the syllabus. The death of the literature is sure a thing by Cheng on 2018. After 10 years in the syllabus, teachers should be able to teach liter literary effectively. However, based on the research conduct conducted by the Rad Radzuan Abdul Rashid and Fet Hamani in 2010, the, inc the incomparation of the parents uh, the in the incorporation of literature components is still argued and de debated amongst the church, students, researchers, parents, as well as the policy makers. In addition, in the research of Basri 2009, in her study stated that the, the child center approaches and activities, activities, activities required by JCL were largely ignored as teachers continued in their usual teacher center pattern. There were limited opportunities for pupils initiate initiate taught due to the failure on the part of the teachers to build upon pupil contributions. In this study, the theories of cognitivism and constructivism as well as the social and cognitive theory which is provides, provides the underlying principle of the study. Underpinning the world well, the theoretical framework are integrated. The, 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 the theory of from Bijet, which is the theory of cognitivism, has really helped in understanding the learning process. Constructivism is another theory that, that helps the researchers. It is significant to understand the theory of constructivism and how it is related to the learning process due to the, its belief that people actively construct new knowledge as they interact with new environment. The theory of Vygotsky, learning theory 1980, 1986 in Andrel is underlying in the present study. Teachers can use information about both level of, of Vygotsky zone of pro, pro signal development in organizing classroom activities via cooperative learning activities and scaffolding via a well planned instruction. The schema theory of Rumelhar 1980 state that all knowledge is packed into units, which is called schemata. It is a theory where we can pack all kind of knowledge into one unit. Therefore, these theories are relevant in understanding students' development in language learning, particularly in learning literature as discussed in this study. Okay, the next explanation about this article it will be explained by Raya Fitrisari. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Raya Fitrisari. I'm from 6A class. Uh, so, in this uh, opportunity, I will continue uh, to explain the material from my partner Aliana Pucher which is uh, teacher approach in teaching literature observation of ESL classroom so the next is methodology this research utilizes qualitative methodology a descriptive research methodology was employed and it used a mode of classroom observation as the primary instrument and semi-structured interview as secondary instru instrument. The sample of population used in this st study consists of randomly selected schools located in Kuala Selang Selangor in the state of Selangor in Malaysia, in which school one ESL teacher teaching year 5 under the CCL program was randomly selected. After securing permission from the school principals and the state education department. The sample of population consists of five ESL trained teachers teaching year five ESL classroom. Each ESL classroom was observed three times. In the study, the five teachers are referred to as a teacher A, B, C, D, and E. 
The first observation for each class was not taken into consideration to avoid what researchers call the researcher's paradox. Only data from the second and third observation were used for study. All the classroom observations were audio recorded and field notes were taken to provide additional information on the classroom context. At the end, a total of 10 classroom observations were used for the purpose of data analysis. The same structure interviews conduct with classroom teachers look into aspect of challenges encountered in the teaching of CCL program. The research objective of this study are to evaluate approach employed by teacher in the teaching of contemporary children's literature program, and then to examine challenges encountered by teacher in the implementation the contemporary children's literature program. Next is research instrument. An observation checklist adapted and adopted from Huang and MB 2007 of approach to teaching the literature component was used. The checklist consists of observation on the approach and activity employed by teacher in the teaching of literature component. The checklist were then summarized, compared, and interpreted. A semi-structure interview is designed in order to determine the challenge fa faced by the teacher in implementing CLC program in the school. The interview questions were categorized and code into few constructs. They are a demographic profile of teacher, approach and activity employed by the teacher, and the factor challenge the teacher in implementing the program. The interviews were audio tape, trans transcript, and interpreted. Next is a data analysis and the procedure. Uh, this study focused on teachers' approach and challenge in implementing CCL program. From the classroom observation and, and interviews, it required the qualitative data analysis. Classroom observation checklists were summarized and compared in order to illustrate appropriate conclusion and interpretation. The interview transcript were grouped, code, and quote in order to find the basis of argument. Next is finding challenges encountered by the teacher. Interview session with the five teachers reveal that all of them were aware of the aims and objective of the CCL program and were able to express the benefit that literature could bring into their ESL classroom. Teachers agreed that CCL could help improve their student language proficiency as well as students' reading abilities. The respondents state that pray while and post reading activity were suitable and appropriate to enhance students language proficiency all of them were aware of the importance of the activity in classroom instruction however teachers a b and d felt that some books were insufficient for all the students teachers were making photocopies of the books in order to ensure the activity run as planned by the CD module. According to the teacher B, photocopy books are not in color and perfect like the real one. It is not attractive to, so students feel less interested to read book. and teacher G and D agreed that statement made by teacher B. Another finding state by teacher E. The language used the same book was to some extent difficult for weaker students. Is it therefore the incorporation of translation using L1 is employed to ensure those weaker students understand the literary text used by the teacher in the teaching process? According to the teacher E, students' limited proficiency was among the main issues that bring the incorporation of using L1 is higher in the classroom. <laughs> Next is finding. 
the challenge encountered by the teacher, interview session with the five teacher revealed that all of them were aware of the aims and objective of the CLC CCL program and were able to express the benefit that literature could bring into their ESL classroom. Teachers agreed that CCL could help improve their student language proficiency as well as students' reading ability. The respondents state that the pre-, while-, and post-reading activity were suitable and appropriate to enhance student language proficiency. All of them were aware of the importance of these activities in classroom instruction. However, teachers A, B, and D felt that some books were insufficient for all the students. Teachers were making photocopy of the book in order to ensure the activity run as planned by the CDC model. According to Teacher B, photocopy books are not in color and perfect like the real one. It is not attractive, to, so students feel less interest to read the book. Teacher C and Teacher D agreed with the statement by Teacher B. Under findings that by Teacher E. The language used to some books ways, to some extent difficult for weaker students. The incorporation of translation of using a one is employed by to ensure those weaker students understand the literary text used by the teacher in the teaching process. According to teacher E, students' limited for fluency was among the main issues that bring the incorporation of using a one is higher in the classroom. Teacher A and B state that the insufficient supplementary materials and trainings were considered an issues of challenge encountered by them in teaching of CCL program. A teacher in their school made full use of the language lab laboratory provided by the school management. But due to certain budget constraints, the supplementary materials were not provided well in the teaching of CCL programs. Teachers were required to fulfill the objective of the program implementation that is language proficiency by employing approach in the teaching of literature. And then teacher needs to be creative in order to have interesting classroom activity. The teacher A added that it is the teacher own initiative to come up with creative and interesting material. Activity with students to develop something or using physical movement so um, that students won't get bored in the learning process. And the last is discussion and conclusion. The findings of this study indicate that teachers employed variety of approach and activities in order to ensure students' understanding of literary texts. Classroom observation indicate that the information-based approach and paraparistic approach um, were among the most favored by teachers in the teaching of CCL program. The incorporation of using translation of L1 is considered as an option for teacher to help weaker students to understand the text and to guide them to analyze the, liter the literature element of the text. This can be seen as to support students who have limited proficiency in the language to learn literature. Teachers could not integrate the activity of pre, while, and post-reading due to the, their inability of using the language. Learning process could only be done in the classroom with the teachers. Further analysis revealed that the teacher communication was mainly on Q&A comprehension activity. Teachers were seen to use list of questions provided in the text to ensure students understand the learning. Structure were instructed to provide the materials by the teacher and to finish the task in time. Less exploration of thinking ability is enhanced during the learning. Since the children's literature in 
primary school was launched in 2008, quite a few teachers start doing their schools. This due to some reasons of different perception in the teaching of children's literature. Students will have an opportunity to express out their thinking abilities creatively and critically. According to uh, Salina, 2012, often thinking is not given a prominent place in teaching and learning process, even though one of the objectives outlined by CCC is to enhance students' thinking skill. This study has indicated that uh, the authentic learning from the evaluation of teacher approach and uh, challenges in the classroom learning of CLC program. Uh, it can be seen that uh, the program provides great potential for enhancing students' learn language learning in the classroom activity via the approach employed by the teachers in the classroom instruction. Okay, I think uh, that's all about the explanation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.